serán tardes en un boicot um, de obrero escocés para hasta um, motores de la Fuerza Aérea de Chile hace 45 años y los obreros um, se negaron a reparar y a devolver los motores a la Fuerza Aérea de Chile en protesta a lo que sucedió en, en Chile seis meses antes, el, el golpe militar del de general Pinochet. Han pasado 40 años, pareciera ser mucho tiempo. Si uno lo mira como historia, es casi ayer. Nunca nos imaginamos que iba a ser tan cruel. One of the most curious actions is currently taking place in Scotland where Rolls-Royce workers are letting the engines of Chilean hawker hunters rust in the back of the factory. Well, it was a moral stand that was taken. I couldn't support or do anything that would help that type of government. I'm Bob. I'm Bob Fulton, yes. Don't you start with any war stories. <laughs> Don't start with the war stories. Just a minute. We're going to him before 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> When I was a kid, we used to go to Solidarity Night. And I remember in Scotland, they always mention the hawker hunters stuck in a factory because of a worker's action. The idea to me that somebody had managed to defeat those planes, that was incredible. I just want to know what's true. That's what I believed in. Dictatorship was a red flag to a bull with me. Nobody knows this story. Hay que buscar las personas que intervinieron ahí. The past empezó así con esa historia. Um, encontrando a esos viejos obreros que 45 años después no tienen ninguna idea de cualquier impacto que su acción podría tener.